Hi, welcome back. Certainly, certainly glad you could join me today. I thought today we'd do a fantastic little winter scene, just a simple little scene I think you'll really, really enjoy doing. So I tell you what, let's start out and have run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint this painting. And while they're doing that, let's go on up here. I've already covered the canvas with a nice thin even coat of the liquid white. It's wet and all already. So let's start today, we'll use a little one inch brush. I'm gonna start with a little touch of the cad yellow. I'll reach over here and grab a little, just a very small amount of the bright red. So we have yellow and bright red. There, just, just load a little bit on the brush. Let's go right up here. Maybe we'll have a sun in the sky today, so decide where your sun's gonna live. <laughs> there you go. There we are. See, my sun lives with me. Every time he goes out, I move, but he finds me. There. And that's all we have to do with that brush. Just, just put that in. Wash the brush. Now, we'll take titanium white. And I'm gonna reach up here and grab a touch, just a touch of alizarin crimson. So we have white and alizarin crimson. Little, little, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. Load the brush full of paint. Let's go right up here. Now come right around this circle we made and do this. Just make little little crisscross strokes. Just like so. And then bring it right on up till it touches the yellow there. Okay. Hmm. I fried something like that just the other day. Called it an egg. <laughs> I'm not a very good cook. I burn Kool-Aid. There. That's just a lizard crimson, a titanium white. Put a little bit right down in here. What the heck? Just throw it on. Now then, without washing the brush, same a lizard crimson, white, and to that I'm going to add a touch, just a touch of phthalo blue and just mix it on the brush. It makes sort of a little lavender color. We'll go right out here, and we'll lay that on. Now all of these colors are mixing with a liquid white. So that makes it, makes this nice soft colors. And when you're doing this, I really, really recommend that you use the little crisscross strokes. If you use these little crisscross strokes, where it comes together here will be very simple to blend together. If you just draw big circles around here, it's a son of a gun to try to blend that together. And we'll put a little bit of that same lavender color. We'll just smear it on right here, like so. No big deal how this goes on. Okay, still without washing the brush. Go right into some Van Dyke Brown and mix it right in the lavender that we had. It's just straight old Van Dyke Brown. All right, let's go up here. Now then all the way out to the edge and in. Maybe a touch more of the, touch more of the phthalo blue into that. Yeah, that's better. So we had Van Dyke Brown and phthalo blue. The blue helps just brighten it up a little. I like that a little better. There. And while we have that on there, once again, we can throw a little of it right in here. Blue and Van Dyke Brown. There we go. Just throw this on. And some on this side. All we're doing is just trying to apply some color to the canvas. I think we've got a mess going here today. Well, we may, we may really be in trouble with this one. Let's take the old big brush. And using little crisscross strokes, let's just begin blending all this together. Just blend it together. Now, when you're doing this at home, you may want to step back from the canvas several times during this blending procedure and take a look-see at it. It's very hard when you're standing this close to it to tell when it's all blended out nice and smooth. Always start in the light area over here and blend outward. Don't, don't take that old dirty brush back into the center. You'll mess up the beautiful light area. I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep it nice and clean. All 
right, just all the way out to the very edge. Okay. Now, then let me wash the brush. Let me wash the old brush. Shake it off. And just raise cane. There we go. Now that you can blend this as many times as you want to get a desired softness or lightness. There's no limit to it. No limit. But seriously, do step back and take a look at it. It's hard to see up close. Now very lightly, very lightly, go across the entire canvas. Now then, down here, I just want to blend all this together. Same way. See, because it has the liquid white on the canvas, you can blend color. If this was a dry canvas, you would have a devil of a time moving all this paint. There we go. See, you just bring it all together. That easy. And we'll do that same thing over here. That's the beauty of wet on wet painting. Just some long strokes to really soften it. There we go. And we can wash our brush again. Actually, I just I want to get the cameraman. He's been giving me a hard time. Now he has freckles. Okay, let's put a sun in here. For that, I'm going, I'm going to use this finger, big old finger. Just tap it right into the paint. And go right up here. Now you could use a brush, but finger painting's fun too. And push very firmly. You just want to push that color right into the fabric. Now then, of course, if you try to blend this, uh, that paint's going to smear. Take your knife. Come right up here so we can see. Take your knife and just go zoop and zip it right off. The value remains in the canvas. Now. Now you can just blend it. And that's one of the neatest, easiest ways to make a fantastic little sun with almost no work. Okay. I told you this would be an easy one. I knew you would like it. I'll tell you what, let's, let's have us a, a little mountain in here. We'll use some Prussian blue, some Van Dyke brown, and a Lizarin crimson. Blue, brown, and crimson. Okay, and the more crimson you use, the more purplish your mountain will become. Pull it out very flat, cut across, and get that small roll of paint right out on the edge of the knife. One of the questions that I answered earlier, but in case you missed it, I want to say it again because I get so many, so many letters about it. People think that my knife is different than the one they're using. For television, they make us paint the knife black so it doesn't glare. My knife is just like your knife. Until I painted it, it looked, oh, it looked like chrome. It's very shiny. But if I leave it that way on TV, then it shines and makes big things come on and they yell and scream at me. So I just paint it with a flat black spray paint just for the purposes of TV. It's like all the shiny parts on the brushes. We, we put duct tape on them. That keeps them from shining. But they're no different than the, than the equipment that you're using. Here, the only thing you're worried about when you're building this mountain is a nice outside edge. You could care less what's happening in here. Scrape off all the excess paint, like so. Okay, let me wipe off my knife. Now then, we we'll take a two inch brush and we grab this, bend the brush, and firmly pull it. Just pull it and let it blend right down to nothing. Grab it and pull it. See these brush strokes, these brush strokes can be used to lay out your entire mountain and you're not committed and it's a super way of deciding where your shadows and highlights will live. Just using brush strokes. And you can change your mind a thousand times if you want to. It's a sneaky little way to, to help you get through some of the some of the more difficult parts. Look at this, see? Here, maybe put a shadow. See how you can do that? Maybe you want to change it, and maybe you want this one to come out here like that. You can do all these things and just look. 
and get an idea of what you what it's going to be like. All right. These these little things will help you. Use them. They're your friends. Okay. Beat that little devil off. And let's put some snow on this mountain. We're going to do a winter scene today. So for that, I'll use white, and I'm going to put the least little amount of bright red into it. The least, least little amount. Just enough to warm it up. Pull it out flat. Nice, nice roll of paint right out on the edge here. Okay, let's go up here. Take the point of the knife, put it right up here at the point of your mountain. Touch, no pressure. No pressure. Just relax and enjoy. Let it flow. Just relax and let it flow. That easy. That easy. That's probably one of the biggest problem areas that people run into. It's because they apply too much pressure to the knife. Take a weak pill. <laughs> there you go. Just relax. Just relax. There. See? And just let that bounce around and play and have fun. But no pressure. I can't say that enough times. Maybe there's a little peak here. Maybe it just wanders all over the place. We don't know. This is your mountain, so you decide. You decide. Wherever you want it to go, that's exactly where it should go. Eh, let's put some shadows in there. Let me clean off a little spot to work on. I just have paper towels over there. I'm wiping the, wiping the knife and the brushes on. We'll take some, a little bit of Prussian blue and white. There we go. Just mix it about like so. You don't have to over mix it. Just like so. That's, that's plenty. Once again, cut off that little roll of paint. It's very important that you have that. Now then, Go back in here and begin finding all these beautiful little shadow areas. See them? See them? There they are. Just lay them in here. Now this is a very simple little mountain. When you're doing this at home, you can do a much better job. You can put all kinds of things in there. All kinds. And you can use the little edge of the knife or the small knife to get into these little parts. Maybe we'll pull this down and, whoops, right over into there. See there? Isn't that fantastic? Because you can put all kinds of dimension into that little rascal. Here's a shadow. Right there. There comes one. Like so. And you can just keep on and on and on. Maybe you want to bring that distinctly down. Just keep going until you get it just the way that you want it. And if you live someplace where there's not a lot of mountains, you can pick up some books at the library that have beautiful, beautiful scenes in them. Or you leave the mountains out. On this canvas, you're the creator. So you make the decision. You put whatever you want in your world. Mountains are one of the, the most popular things that we do. That's the reason I do so many. But if you don't want mountains in your painting, leave them out. Okay. Now then, let's take the old two-inch brush, tap it, tap it, tap it, create the mist, lift upward, follow the angles, always follow the angles in the mountain, like so. Another reason we teach mountains so much, if you can make the knife work on the mountains, then you can do all kinds of fantastic effects. You can make rocks and trees and roads and oh, just everything. Nothing teaches you to use the knife better than making mountains. And this knife is a fantastic tool. There we are. See how soft the base of that mountain is? That's what we're looking for. We want it to look like it's just laying here in the mist. Okay. Let's have some fun. I'll take a little bit of this color that I had left over from the mountain. I'm going to add a little more crimson to it, and we'll put some white with it, like so. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, it's not quite as light as I want it yet. Maybe I'll add, oh, there it comes, there it comes. 
just like so. It's a nice color. Let me clean the knife. For that, we'll just use, I got a, I got an old dirty one inch brush here that's left over from the sky, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna load a little color into this. Wiggle it, that brings it to a nice sharp edge. See there, it's, that brush is very sharp. That's a chisel edge. Okay, let's go up here. Now maybe back in here, there's some happy little trees that live. Let's just take the, the corner of the brush and tap downward. Just tap downward. There. See, and we can make all kinds of things. Reload the brush as needed. And I want these to be quite loose. I want all kinds of little things happening up here. These are little trees and bushes that live way off in the distance, and I'm tapping and pulling at the same time. Let, let it slide a little bit. Just let it slide a little. Okay, we'll just come right on across here. You make the decision. There we go. See now, let it hang down here. What, what's hanging down here in a few minutes, hopefully, that'll become reflections. There. If it doesn't, then we'll just make it taller trees. Either way, we're not worried about it. Because we don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. There. That's almost unbelievable to me with the completion of this series. There will be 130 half-hour shows. Whew. They work me hard here. And if you haven't, if you haven't had the opportunity to see them all and you would like to, give your station a call. Let them know. Let them know. They're available to them. They and they want to hear what you want. Now then, let's take the two inch brush, grab and pull straight down, straight down. That'll create the reflections we were looking for. Straight down. See how easy it is? Reflections used to drive me crazy. Now it's one of the easiest things we do. Now very lightly come across, just come across. That's all there is to it and instant, instant reflections. I'm gonna take a little liquid white, and to that, I'm gonna mix some titanium white. I just want this paint to be a little bit thinner. So it's liquid white and titanium white. Now we just pull it out, cut off a little bit, just like we normally do. There we go. Let's go right up in here, and I wanna put some happy little snow areas back in here. See, just pull them, just pull. This is where we begin forming our lake or water or whatever it is back in here. We don't know. Whatever you want it to be. You have to make that decision. Tell you what, maybe there's a little, yep, you're right, there it is. Just a little peninsula that comes right out here. So you can make all kinds of little coves and just anything that you want. You can do it. You can do it. Now then, let me find, there it is, a clean one inch brush. And I'm gonna grab this and just, and using little short strokes, lift upward. You see that? Just lift it upward. Just enough to, to mist that. See, just very soft. Gets rid of that harsh line and blends it all together. Makes it look very cold and very soft and far away straight liquid white on the knife. Then we can go up in here and clean up the base of this and put us in a happy little water line. Just a happy little water line. Wherever. Okay, a little bit right in there. See there? Isn't that super? You can do it. Now then, I'll tell you what, let's do. I'm going to take, can't make up my mind here. I'm going to take and make a big pile of dark. We'll use some black, Prussian blue, little Van Dyke brown, some crimson, whatever we got. Whatever we got. Make a big pile of paint. Let's get, let's get the old fan brush. Load it full of color, a lot of color. Okay. Maybe we'll have a happy little evergreen. 
and he lives right here. There we are. Choose the corner of the brush, tap downward, 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 downward. There they are. They hide right here in this brush. Just shake them out. Maybe he's got a friend over here. Right there. There, see? And you put as many or as few as you want in your world. Mm, maybe there's a little one there. I don't know. It's decisions you have to make. Another one. We just decided. Another one. Maybe there's a little one lives over here. Looks like a whole family. You got mama and papa and, and three kids. Whole family little trees. Okay, and we can take another brush, put a little liquid white on it. A little white and at least, least little touch of phthalo blue. A lot of paint on the brush. Let's go up here. Now then, I just want to take that and put the indication here and there of some highlights. I don't want to lose that dark value. It's too pretty. The contrast will be very pretty when it's done. Just here and there, a little snow laying on some of these trees. Just a little. Don't overdo. You'll lose that dark contrast and that's pretty. It'll, it'll work for you in a little bit. Now then, go into some white. Let's grab some Prussian blue. Very dark. Make a blue about that color. Go right up here. Now, some happy little bushes. They're right there. We're putting some dark in so our light will show. All we're doing right now is just putting some dark in. Okay. And let's reflect some of that right into the water. inch brush, grab it, and pull down. Pull it straight down. Go across. Gives us some reflections. Now with a clean, clean one inch brush, dipped it into the, into the liquid white and then into titanium white. Pull the brush in one direction, one direction. Load a lot of paint into it. Maybe the least, least little touch of the bright red. Okay, let's go up here. Touch, give it a little push. Let's make some snow-covered little bushes out of these. Mm, aren't those pretty? There's another one right there. There's another one. Here's one, and as many as you want. Okay. Let's tell you what let's do. Let's have a happy little cabin hid back here. We'll do the roof. My cat. A little bit of white. There we are. I'm gonna get the get the small knife. Pull down. Over. And down. Gives us a sort of a little front. Take a little bit of dark sienna white. Put just a little color on there. A little bit of snow on this side of the roof. This is where that small knife really comes in handy. Maybe it's a little Ooh, all kinds of pretty little things. There's a little door. We got us a little cabin. Now then, take some white. This is just titanium white. Put it right out like that. Like so. Just let it come right out. That easy. A little liquid white. And we can drop in drop in a water line into here to clean it all up. Okay. Back to our brush that has the white on it. And we can pop in a happy little bush here and there. This guy's like me, he doesn't cut his yard, he's just about to eat his house up. Okay, let's have some fun in the front. Take the old big brush and go into some Prussian blue and white. Maybe right along here. Wow. Maybe I'll just put all kinds of things in. Just like so. Maybe it comes all the way over here. 
wherever. All right. Now then. There we go. And we'll put a few little, ooh, look at them little rascals sparkle in the sun. Make individual bushes, one at a time, one at a time. See, and it picks up that blue color that's underneath, and it's beautiful. There we go. Okay, let's go back over here. There's one. Look at that. I'm gonna leave a little water right there so we can see it going through. That way we don't know where this little lake or pond goes. It just, hmm, wherever. Let's lay some snow in here. Just titanium white. It also will pick up the blue. Maybe it comes this way. Just a game of angles. Allow some of that blue to show through. It looks like shadows. A few little things here and there. Like so. Tell you what. Let's get crazy. Let's put a little tree in here. We'll put a little tree. He lives right there. Right there. And he's got a little friend there. Like that. A little bit of brown on the liner brush. And we can just put just a few little limbs on here. See? Just like so. And as many or as few as you want. There they go. And the old clock on the wall tells me it's about time to call it a day. This painting's about finished, so I hope you really enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you again next time. And from all of us here, happy painting. God bless. Thank you.